Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between 13 power 13 against 12 power 14. And we are going to find out which of these is the greater number. Now, let this be our A and this is our B. Now, if we have, if A divided by B happens to be greater than 1, because we are going to compare it with 1. If it's greater than 1, that means A is greater than B, right? And also, if A divided by B happens to be less than 1, that means A is less than B. So we are going to compare everything to 1. And in order to do that, we can simply divide A by B. So we are going to have 13 power 13 divided by 12 power 14 versus 12 power 14 divided by... 12 power 14. So definitely this will give us 13 power 13 divided by 12 power 14 versus this we are going to have 1. So we are now going to compare everything to this one. Now, how are you going to do this? We have 13 power 13 divided by 12 power 14. We can simply have it as 13 power 13 divided by 12 power 13 plus 1. 13 plus 1 is 14, so we have it that way. And if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. So we are going to apply the same identity right here. And this will give us 13 power 13 divided by 12 power 13 times 1 divided by 12 power 1. Have you seen it? So, this is how we can actually express this using this particular identity. Now, the next thing we are going to do is, if you have a power n divided by b power n, this equals a divided by b or power n, right? So, there is 13 here and there is 13 here. We can have it written that way. We are going to have 13 divided by 12 or power 13 and this will multiply 1 divided by 12. Good. What is the next thing we are going to do? Here we have 13 divided by 12. If you have 13 divided by 12, we can have it as 13 is 12 plus 1, right? Divided by 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So we can simply split it by having 12 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 12, right? So this will then give us 12 divided by 12 is 1 plus 1 divided by 12. So 13 divided by 12 is 1 plus 1 divided by 12. And this, we are going to raise it to the power of 13. So you have 13 times 1 divided by 12, right? Good. So let's write it down here. We have 1 plus 1 divided by 12 or power 13 times 1 divided by 12. Now, if we consider Euler's formula, we consider the Euler's formula and this formula says that if you have 1 plus 1 divided by n raised to the power of 1, this will give you e. And the value of E, irrespective of this N here, the value of E will obviously give you approximately 2.7182, that is in four decimal places. And this value will definitely be less than 3. Irrespective of the value of N that you have here, you are going to have a number that is less than 3. This still goes on, but it's going to give you a number that is less than 3. Even if this is 1 million and this is 1 million, then you have 1 plus 1 divided by 1 million raised to the power of 1 million. You are going to have a number that is less than 3. So, before we can make use of this Euler's formula, we need to make sure that we have 12 down here. Remember, we have n here. We must have n here. So, for us to achieve that, we can have 1 plus 1 divided by 12. And instead of 13, we have 12 plus 1. Then we have times 1 divided by 12. Have you seen it? So we consider this identity once more. We have a power n plus m 
this equals a power n times a power m right we consider this identity one smooth so we are going to have 1 plus 1 divided by 12 raised to the power of 12 times 1 plus 1 divided by 12 raised to the power of 1 times 1 divided by 12 have you seen it now we have 12 here we have 12 here and this actually aligns using this particular Euler's formula because the n we have here is exactly the n we have here now we can make use of a number less than 3 because irrespective of the value of n you are going to have a number less than 3 so this will give you a value that is less than 3 then you have this will multiply 1 plus 1 divided by 12 and this will also multiply 1 divided by 12 so let's change this to a an improper fraction this is divided by 1 so if you take the LCM you are going to have 12 12 divided by 1 that is 12 12 times 1 that is 12 plus 12 divided by 12 that is 1 1 times 1 that is 1 so we have less than 3 times this times 1 divided by 12 so this will give us less than 3 times 12 plus 1 13 divided by 12 times 1 divided by 12 so this is what we are going to do we can multiply this out 3 times 3 that is 9 3 times 1 that is 39 and this is less than 39 divided by 12 times 1 divided by 12 this is 12 so times 1 divided by 12 and this will give us less than 39 divided by 12 times 12 is 144 now look at what we are having here we are having less than 39 divided by 144 a number that is less than 39 and we are dividing it by 144 obviously this will give us a number that is less than 1 because the numerator is smaller than what the denominator if that is the case remember this our a and this our b so we are having that a divided by b is less than 1 and this shows that a is less than b what was our a that means we are having less than 39 is less than 144 and remember our a was let's go to the initial problem 13 power 13 right so we come down again so what we are having is that 13 power 13 which is our a and this is the lowest form you can get to is less than what 12 power 14 have you seen it so you can come over here and it is quite very obvious that this number here is smaller than 12 power 14 which means that the number we have here is a more bigger number compared to this so this is how you can carry out comparisons of this nature and i believe you enjoyed the class please kindly subscribe and share this video to your friends thank you and goodbye